Good morning, lovelies. Welcome to my Kota's diary and vlog. So this is the fourth week of the flight attendant training. So I was just here in the morning, preparing myself, eating my breakfast before going for classes. So today we actually have um, a rewrite of aircraft specific B737-300. You know, because we all failed it, so we had to take um, the rewrite of the, you know, of the exams. And also we'll be doing five high training throughout the week. And also evacuation practicals in the aircraft of itself. So come along as I take you guys. They were lecturing us on firefighting and later we rewrite the aircraft specific exams that we failed and I passed I got 100 percent so yay so I was super excited after the exams because I did pass that was my first time failing an exam like that so I was terrified but thank god I made up for it and now I know better and hoping for the best throughout the entire course so this was us taking lectures on um firefighting and also the compressions and aircraft so guys being a flight attendant is not just about you know being a waitress on an airplane but also the main priority of cabin crew is for the safety of passengers just in case there is a decompression that's like that's like lack of oxygen when you're at a higher altitude let's say 40,000 feet there is no oxygen or whatsoever so the aeroplane of course um from its engines it has its own oxygen that is um given inside the aircraft so if there's a malfunction there will be decompression that is lack of oxygen and people will suffocate so you know cabin crews are there to make sure passengers are well um secured and safe from all this decompression on an aircraft can enable the aircraft to crash so afterwards we took a firefighting exam so i passed came home had food <laughs> good morning guys so it's actually like 6 30 a.m here and they came to pick us up because we have like practical on the aircraft today so we're going to do some evacuation processes and also some safety procedures but i'll take you guys along okay let's go This was when we got to the aircraft side to do our practicals, our evacuation practicals. So evacuation practicals is basically for an emergency on an aircraft, being ditching on water or land, for cabin crews to be prepared, you know, on when to open the emergency exit doors when there's an emergency. What you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to say, how you're supposed to protect the passengers, and also dispatch passengers, dispatch passengers as passengers that are unable to help themselves, like the disabled, the visually impaired passengers that are unable to help themselves during an emergency. So the cabin crew help them out, or able-bodied passengers. So this was the practical. We were doing it by group. This was the first group, and I was the second group. So I was just sitting there. <laughs> laughing the process because it's quite interesting but at the same time it's educative being a cabin coach really i've learned and experienced a lot during the process and the main objective of a cabin crew is the safety of the passengers Wake up, oh, 
tame my down, person we don't mind on When I land, I land softly on the sofa floor So far, so good, go need by Joe Let me see you, go lo 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 Let me see you, go lo 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 So we're returning back to school after a long day at the air cup. We spent like almost all of the days. We went there around 8 o'clock in the morning and came back around was it 4 or 5 p.m. So it was a lot but then we learned a lot and the practicals were very helpful because we have to do like assessments on all of these practicals. So being a cabin crew involves a lot guys but it takes determination perseverance and you can do it because the studies is like every day so i went back to my dorm prepared food as usual because you guys know i'm a foodie mm. <laughs> This was the next day in class guys, we were doing workplace preparation, we were teaching us on how to tie scarves when we go for an interview or when we were going for work. I came back home and prepared potato salad. You guys know I like food. I can't stay without food. And so it was my friend's birthday, one of my roommates. So we went out to get few things and I got her few birthday gifts for me to give her. And then we came back home, have a little picnic just to ourselves. So I came back to my room and had some Amarola to get myself together for the night. So that's it for me guys this week. It was more about firefighting, practicals on the air caps and evacuations and also safety equipment exams. So it's more about exams. So guys please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave down your comments below. Ta ta!